Good morning, students. I would like to ask the question, what is wisdom? You have so many definitions today, but let us get an understanding of what is wisdom. Let us look at, at the text that we have on, on wisdom. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. James chapter 1 and verse 5. So therefore, God has wisdom. He is the originator of wisdom, and he will give us wisdom as long as we ask him. So, in learning your, your work today, to get wisdom in your brain, that means you have to ask God to give it to you. And he will generously give you with every approach. He's not going to bad talk you and say, look, she's asking for wisdom and she have a good bit of wisdom already. No. God is going to give you wisdom as long as you ask for it. But, but a practical gift only God can give. So therefore, it is a gift. We can only get it from God who can give us it. So remember, it is a gift. God could only give it. Wisdom refers to the knowledge of God's plans and purpose and the ability to live accordingly. So therefore, another part of it is that we are to live, we give it the, the, the ability to live accordingly. So therefore, wisdom has another side to it. The, the, the ability to live, to do things, to, to enable us to, 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 to be great. Oh, God is giving us that wisdom. Yeah, and we are to live accordingly. But the last part now is wise people can identify the nature and purpose of their trials and understand how to overcome them. So therefore, in this world, there are trials, there are tribulations. But the people who are wise, who ask God for wisdom, understand the purpose of their trials and understand how to overcome them. We understand that the devil doesn't like us. The devil doesn't like education. But it's important to be educated. But by ed education, you can get a good job and go on further, further in your education, and get a good, very good job. So therefore, wise people are the people who can understand that the things that compel them to, to, to keep them back and, and, and overcome those things that will keep them back. There are many things, like distractions, when you, you know, using instead of studying your work you are distracted easily by anything by a movie on on, on television by your little, little brother or sister troubling you giving you trouble for so you can't you can understand lord we need no distraction and we are going to pray to god that we would not be distracted father wisdom comes from you these students, at least, give them wisdom and give them liberally because it's you alone who contains and who has the wisdom and who will give it to them. Let them not be distracted. Let them learn that they can do their work properly 
and give them peace and understanding and help them to develop in, in, in whatever sphere they want to develop in. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen.